All right, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's Mr. Kester Amos Ibiwe. Uh, just to give you a follow up video of what we are doing in Emo State. So you can see the feed mill still remains behind me. This is where we started the first video. So we are starting from here again. So this time, if you look around, you will see that most of the structures are undergoing roofing process. So uh, the farm has taken a different look from what it used to be uh, from the last time we made this video. So I'm now going to take you through the different buildings. This time, I'm not going to take too much time explaining them because from the last video, I already told you what we were doing in each of the buildings. It's just that we've made some progress. So I deemed it necessary to make another video. So the next video I'm going to make after this one will be almost at the, uh, the concluding phase of the project. So now we'll take you into the feed mill. So this is the feed mill. As you can see, the last time I didn't really come inside to show you how it is. Now this is a hall and usually it ought to be very dark because of the height of the wall. But you can see I positioned some transparent uh, zinc up there. You can see one, two, three, four. Just show them the transparent zinc so they can see. That's one, two, three, four. So this is what brings in light into the structure. So it's a big structure. Without this transparent zinc, we would have almost a completely dark hall. So with this, we are able to attract sunlight into the building without necessarily allowing rain into the structure. So we're going to be having the feed milling machines. We'll be having a, a place for raw materials. We'll be having a place for the finished feed. That's why you see the hall is so big. Left alone for the feed milling machines, we don't need this kind of big hall. But because we have a portion for storage and a portion for raw materials, and of course, we brought in some of our equipment. If you look at the extreme end, the black tarpaulin there is cover, uh, we covered the uh, feed milling machines and also the uh, battery cages for the uh, birds that we are actually planning to bring in. So we have the scraper, the manual machine, and the battery cages over there. So let's go outside now and show you what the structures are now looking like. So this place remains where we drop whereby off. we are doing concrete block work and plastering and it is raining. So that is why you see we are beginning to roof all the structures. So once we finish the roofing of the structures, then every other block work will go under the roof. So even when it is raining, we can actually do our thing. We can construct the blocks on top of the slab and also do the plastering without the rain interfering with the job. So this is strictly for the concrete pens for the snails and we have the two greenhouses on that side for the snails. So the next building where you can see them molding blocks now is the uh, broiler house. So we also have this building designed for uh, 5,000 broilers. So I'll just go through the entrance. We'll pass through the door so we don't go anywhere okay so this is the door to the um, poultry broiler session so you can see the structure we're currently molding blocks on it because we're waiting to roof the structure before we do any other thing inside the building so this is where we'll be having 5,000 broilers for the poultry the next structure is the pig pen. So uh, let's just pass through this. So from the last video, this was where we were doing the block molding. And I said after the molders have moved out of this place, we'll begin to design the structure for the pigs. So this is it. We've not roofed it, but you can see the poles are already uh, standing. And this is the passage. So this is where you move through. We have pens to the left and pens to the right. The pens to the right are uh, for the breeders. You have the breeders and the nursing mothers. 
occupying this part. While when the animals have been weaned, we transfer them to the winners and growers pens. I think you take this position so they can see the design of it. So these are designed in a way that will have room and parlor. So this section is the parlor and the other part is the room. We call it the run actually. So the animals will pass from this part to the back end and do their down game, their waste and all of that. And they come back to the front part for their feeding and care for the young. So these are farrowing pens and breeding pens that are designed like that. Then these ones are actually a single unit. There are no divisions in the middle because we'll just be having the winners and the growers here. So it's quite a long structure. We have a total of 28 pens, 14 on the right and 14 on the left. So uh, this is the passage. As we continue to uh, progress with this, We'll bring you more clips on it. So the next structure you see there is for the layers. We've also made some progress on that. So this is the layer structure. So you can see what it looks like. And uh, it's looking very nice now. You can have a... Okay. So... Where I'm standing now, this is the center pathway. Uh, this is where the cages are going to be standing. We'll have one set of cages here on this row. And we'll have another set of cages on the other row. So this is the middle part. We're going to fill this and fill that end on the other end. So we'll just have the sink here, the pits to carry the waste of the birds down there. So we'll also install some... Uh, scrapers that or you call we call them manual remover uh, machines or scrapers so they are going to scrape everything down there there's a pit where it would dump the whole material so this structure is designed for 5,000 laying birds so for the poultry units we'll be having 5,000 broilers and 5,000 layers so that's what we've designed this farm for so we're going to take you now to the fishery unit, which happens to be the last part of the uh, building. Okay, let's just move down to yeah. Composite. We're not going through it past you. Yeah, see, we need to go like this. That's how they block. All right, so this is the this is the hatchery unit where we're going to be hatching the young fishes uh, to transfer them into the fish ponds. So we have about sixteen tanks. So you can see how it is designed. The hatcher can stay on this side and do your hatching on your spawning rather on each of the spawning tanks or hatchery tanks. So it's made in a way that you have access to walk around it. So even if you want to carry out a training exercise, you can stand here, your student can stand around and see what you're doing. So that's how it's designed. So this is the height of the wall. The rest of it, we're going to seal it with tarpaulin. 
roof it and make sure it's completely sealed. Then we'll have some lighting points inside in order for us to be able to do whatever we want to do during the day or in the night. So this way is major fish farm. So you can see the roofing is ongoing and this is the passage to the fish farm. We have uh, about 20 ponds. This is one. You can see this is a pond. We're going to raise the block and chain it. So we have one filler here, including the one on the pole. We have three filters on the part of five meters. And on the part of ten meters, we have one, two, three, four, five. Five pillars. This is to solidify the uh, fish pond. Then we also done a beam around it at the base. So the next one, where I'm standing is actually a beam. So the next one we're going to do is after two to three blocks, we'll put another beam around it. Coupled with the pillars, it will be so solid that you can use this sponge for 20 to 30 years. There will be no collapsing. So it's a huge area. As you can see, we are still roofing it. So until we finish the roofing, we can't do much now because the rains are coming very heavy. So that's why we're trying to see that we roof all the structures before we begin to complete the block works. So that's what we have. You can see it's a massive facility, it's an integrated system where we have fish farm, poultry, broilers and layers, pig, snail and the feed meal. So uh, for now we've only completed the feed meal but we've not installed the machines. It's a gradual process. So the next video we are going to make you're going to see a whole different uh, uh, atmosphere here because at that point we'll almost be completing everything we plan to do here. So until then, please do not uh, forget to subscribe, like and share. Thank you. God bless you and bye-bye.